Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the difference between a variable and a fixed interest rate for your mortgage and which one is better for this type of market. So you can maybe see that I have a different background right behind me. So right now I'm on vacation in BC and I thought this would be a great idea to talk about real estate at one of the most expensive real estate markets in the world. So for those people who don't know me, my name is Ryan Banks and my channel is about financial tips and tricks that you can bank on and I post videos every second Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern. So if you like this type of different type of video with different types of background and different locations, you should hit that like and subscribe button. So the first thing I want to touch upon with you today is what is a mortgage? So when you're buying a mortgage, it's directly rated when buying a house and it's very expensive buying a house. And most people don't have cash on hand to buy their dream home. So that's where a mortgage comes in. So in my last video, I talked about what you need to know when buying a house and now there's one thing I just want to touch upon is your down payment. So when you buy a house for under 500,000, you need a minimum of 5% down payment. When you buy a house between 500 to a million dollars, you need a down payment of 5% um, of the first 500,000 and then 10% for the additional amount of 500,000. And if you buy a house over a million dollars, then that's 20% um, down. So it's quite a bit. And that other portion, that um, is not the down payment, that's where the mortgage comes in. And that's where you need to decide if you want a variable or fixed interest rate with that mortgage. Now I skipped you to North Vancouver. So now I wanna to talk to you about the difference between a variable and a fixed mortgage interest rate. So a variable rate is, it fluctuates with the market rate. So for example, if your interest rate goes up, that means the market rate went up and vice versa. If your market rate goes down, then um, you also your interest rate does as well So a fixed interest rate is at that point in time when you get your mortgage or when you renew your mortgage You get to pick that specific rate at that point in time and you get to lock that in for five to seven years So the difference between is if the interest rates are climbing It's better to have a fixed interest rate because you want to lock in at a lower rate before they goes up and Vice versa if you think the interest rates are going to be going down then you're going to want to um get a variable rate so your interest rate will decrease over the time of the five to seven years of your term. So once you do pick a, a fixed interest rate, then um, you will be able to renew your interest rate after five to seven years, depending on how long your term is. And at that point, you get to pick if you want to do another variable or another fixed rate. And another tip I have for you is um, to save money with your mortgage or save money with interest is picking bi-monthly or bi-weekly payments um, will save you interest instead of doing monthly payments because um, your interest is calculated based off the principal that's left and if you make a halfway point in the month a payment the second portion of the month you're going to get a lower amount of interest accrued so now for the last part of the video you can see that we're in whistler so the last part that I want to talk to you about today is if you should pick a variable or fixed interest rate when renewing your mortgage right now or buying a new house. So as many new, many of you may have noticed is interest rates have increased significantly over the past few months. So I've seen um, interest rates increase by 0.5 to 1% every month for the past three, four months. So essentially this means that interest rates are increasing. And if you have a variable mortgage, this means that your interest rate would also increase. So that's why in my professional opinion, I think that you should get a fixed interest rate right now um, if you're renewing your mortgage or getting a new mortgage for the next five to seven years. Um, this way that you can lock in the current rate that you're at. Um, and then if you don't go variable, um, that's how you can save somebody on some interest and keep your monthly payments down every month. But this is only my opinion. So again, the one thing that I always say in my videos is always do your research and always talk to other people as well because don't you don't want to base your decision just off of me. So um, go talk to different people and see what they have to say about a variable versus a fixed interest rate. To summarize the video with you today, today I went through what financing with a mortgage was and also went through the difference between a fixed and variable interest rate. And I suggest for you to get a fixed interest rate because interest rates are increasing significantly. But remember, always do your research because buying a house is probably one of the biggest decisions of your life. So let me know what you thought about the video. Um, if you liked it, you should give it a like and subscribe. Um, it definitely helped me out. And uh, I just wanna thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.